what is up you guys welcome back to my channel if you're new here my name is Anna Karen how are you very nice to meet you I need to stop messing with my hands it's been about a week a little more than a week <laughs> I've actually noticed that I wanted to do YouTube as a hobby and I kept trying to post two times every week and I realized that it was kind of becoming more of a job in a way but I mean I'm not making any money so with that stress put on my shoulders I actually didn't want to film anymore but now I've been posting whenever that I want to post like before I used to try to post every Thursday and Sunday and then I moved it to just Sundays and now I'm not even posting just on Sundays I'm posting whenever I want to post whenever I feel like I have a good enough idea for a video some great content and I believe that I'm more happy as I'm filming doing this it doesn't seem as forced if that makes sense but yeah so I'm not gonna be posting just on Sundays anymore I'm just gonna be posting when I am going to post so make sure you subscribe and you turn on those post notifications so you know every time that I post okay perfect so in today's video we are going to be doing a little thrift haul I already went to the thrift store I think it's really awkward <laughs> filming in public and that's really weird that's a lot of unwanted attention that I do not need like I just said unwanted attention so overall I went to three stores and this was this past weekend I had gone with my mom again she bought me some more clothes thank you so much mom I love you I went to two stores with my mom and I went to another store with Edgar this was maybe about a week ago but I still want to show you those pieces that I have the first one that Edgar and I went to because we went before I went with my mom we went to Goodwill on J Street so for those people who live in the San Diego slash Chula Vista area there is a Goodwill on J Street they actually opened up maybe about a year and a half ago Ago, two years ago so it's fairly new we went there in hopes of finding a chair that I really want like a bench to reupholster and give a good makeover because I love DIYing and you guys will be seeing a video of that soon okay so we went to a Goodwill and when I went with my mom we went to this was literally like two days ago where did we go <laughs> We went to Deseret Industries and we also went to the DAV. Those both, or all three of them are in Chula Vista. I think there's plenty of thrift stores. I wish there was a couple more around my area. They're kind of on the other side of Chula Vista from where I am. But they are very nice thrift stores. I actually got a lot of clothes too and I don't know why I'm shopping like I have no clothes <laughs> or any room for that matter. If you guys are interested in seeing the great pieces that I picked out, make sure to keep on watching. So I'm going to be showing you guys the items in the order that I bought and I found and bought them, okay? I'd also like to add, this is just personal preference, but when I buy clothes from the thrift store, I do not try them on until after I wear them. This is why I'm very diligent on the things that I purchase. I will not purchase something unless I know for sure it'll fit. I do not like trying things on just because... They don't, thrift stores don't wash their clothes when they receive it. You don't know if something has been sitting there for however long it's been sitting there. You don't know where this piece of clothing was before you purchased it. So just to be on the safe side, I would suggest to not try your clothes on unless after you wash them. That is just my personal preference and a suggestion to you guys. Enjoy! 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 When Edgar and I went to the Goodwill in Chula Vista, I found maybe a good couple pieces and I was like, wow, I never knew that I needed these pieces in my closet, but I have them. Now, I've noticed that I really like weird looking pieces. This item will definitely... you'll see why. <laughs> So this is a jean jacket in a way kind of sweater cardigan looking and it has kind of like this buffalo. I don't know why I said that. I made a buffalo chicken casserole a while ago and the, shredding the chicken it literally looks like this thread. But yes, so this was the first piece that I picked out. So my inspiration with this kind of reminded me, I don't know. It definitely reminded me of kind of like Gigi Hadid 
Hadid or I don't know Kendall Jenner I can wear this cardigan with like some high-waisted jeans and like a really simple tank top I was gonna say t-shirt t-shirt as well and maybe some really pretty loafers the next item that I picked out from the Goodwill was this very pretty short sleeve cardigan kind of thing I feel like I could wear this with the shirt that I have on now and I wear long sleeves quite often so I feel like this would look super cute kind of just dress up a very um, casual long sleeve it totally reminds me of the Devil Wears Prada I have no idea it's not even like like bougie or anything the last item that I picked up from Goodwill was this very pretty snakeskin blazer I was gonna say blister what this very pretty snakeskin blazer and I don't know why this totally reminds me of like Kim Kardashian gives me those kind of vibes same thing with uh, the cardigan I can pair this with a white t-shirt or a simple tank top and some high-waisted jeans with some loafers or of course with some heels I actually have some really pretty snakeskin wedges and um, chunky heels that will look super pretty with this so those were the last pieces that I would be showing you from Goodwill next we are gonna move on to the Desiree Industries so this is where my mom and I went together so I definitely bought some skirts because I I love skirts. I like the skirts that are like midway calf and that have like a really pretty slit on the side. Oh, that is so pretty to me. It totally like reminds me of um, What a Girl Wants, Daphne Reynolds. Totally reminds me of that and I love her aesthetic. So pretty. I love that. So the first item that I picked out from, from Deseret is this very beautiful skirt. I love the patterns. It definitely reminds me of an early 2000s and has a very beautiful slit on the side. So while I'm like on this skirt kind of trend thing, I also found another one that was very pretty. Here's the other skirt. This one's a little bigger. Um, I'm hoping that it's stretchy, so... I don't know if I'll just put in like a little string, but this is a very pretty light green with flower skirt. There's no slit, but I'm planning on making my own slit. Another item while I was there at Deseret that I picked up was this very pretty um, sleeveless dress. Um, I'm not really into the sleeveless kind of look. I definitely pair things like this with like a jean jacket or with something over it cardigan. I mean, if you don't want to wear something over it, I feel like it would still look very pretty. But for my taste, I feel like it's too plain, if that makes sense. Like, you have, I have all these clothes, but because they're very, most of them are very basic pieces because I put so many together to make one very pretty look. So that's why I'm saying that I would pair this with a jean jacket. Another item that I got from the Deseret Industries was this cute like Aloha Hawaiian shirt. I definitely like this. I am definitely going to wear it kind of like off the shoulder. I think that is so cute. And I like this puffer sleeve. It like puffs up. I think it'll look super cute with some jeans. More like casual if that makes sense with some jeans and some really pretty um, sandals. Last item that I found from Desert Industries was this really pretty dress. It's kind of like a... I don't know how to explain it. It's kind of like a, a beach cover-up in a way. It's unique. I feel like dress, every time I see a dress like this, it has like different colors and patterns and I never have liked it. But for some reason, this gray, because I always find them in like weird colors, but this gray is really pretty and I feel like it'll flatter my body. This is the last thing I found before we paid. And my mom actually paid for all these clothes um, from Deseret Industries. So again, thank you, mom. It's funny because the next store we went to, she realized she's like, shit, she has a lot of clothes. You're paying for it this time. <laughs> After Deseret Industries, we skedaddled on our way to DAV, another thrift store here in Chula Vista, which I actually find a lot of good stuff because they have their own plus size section. And I, one of the things that I get tired of going to 
um, the thrift store is going through all the clothes and every time I find something cute it's never my size so I like that they kind of put plus size at a different section because I can just go straight there and not feel bad for looking at stuff that I know that I can't fit into one of the first things that I found at um, DAV that caught my eye was this very pretty dress now it's kind of sheer however I would be wearing this kind of like a cover-up to the beach so I found this really pretty I love sleeves like this I love sleeves that um, are kind of tight on the upper part of your arm and then just flow out super pretty it's simple but it's so like oh, yes like it's just the right amount of oomph if you will <laughs> I think this I love I'm so glad I saw this skirt so you know how I told you plus size is at a different section in the store well for some reason I went through the regular size pants section and I found this skirt so Chico specializes in plus size brand uh, plus size brands in plus size sizing and one of the things that kind of frustrates me at thrift stores is the people who put the clothes away they don't <sighs> They just base it off the size of what it looks like sometimes. Like a shirt could be small, but it looks like an extra large because that's just the way that it's supposed to fit on the body. So they'll end up placing that in the plus size section because it looks bigger. However, it's a size small, so sometimes they don't really pay attention to the sizing. And most of the time, not most of the time, sometimes I'll be in the plus size section and I'll see something super cute. But I know that it's not my size, and even though it would fit me, that's not how it's supposed to look like. Do you know what I mean? I know that they sometimes get confused with putting some small sizes in plus size, and sometimes they put plus size in small sections. So I went through the pants section, sorry, I know that was, that was a doozy, and I found this super cute skirt. Now this totally gives me like... I keep referencing What a Girl Wants, but it totally gives me Libby vibes from What a Girl Wants. Like, I could totally go to the beach and it's just anywhere with like a really cute white tank top and a jean jacket or something. And I love it. I don't know if you guys have noticed, but I've kind of picked out a bunch of neutral colors this haul. Because I have another neutral piece. The next item that I found was this very cute boyfriend size um, button down. And this is the brand Old, oh, I'm sorry, Gap. And I know that they specialize in fits like that, kind of like Old Navy, how they always have like those boyfriend jeans and um, they always promote like boyfriend sweaters. So this is a boyfriend button up. I can wear this with like jeans and some really cute slip ons like Vans. Oh, I love that. <laughs> Like the last item, I found this very pretty long sleeve. It's beige. Also, this would be kind of like a cover-up because this is just way too sheer. I mean, if I wanted to wear it other than the beach, I could put like a tank top under it. However, it just depends how you are. I think it'd be really cute. I can wear this with some shorts and my swimsuit under my shorts to the beach with a really cute hat. And some very big sunglasses with my twine purse and my little doggies on the side. Love it. One of the dresses that I found, other than that white dress I showed earlier, I saw this very cute dress. And it's from ASOS. It's the brand ASOS. And ASOS is actually quite expensive. However, this dress was Okay, actually it was kind of expensive. It was $6. <laughs> but this dress is super cute. It's like a very blush nude pink. It looks like it'd be more of like a fancy dress. Of course, I'd wear something like a jean jacket over it with some really cute heels. I really like that. I like that it's such a nude color. I love fancy blouses. One of the blouses, one of the two blouses that I found is this very pretty nude and black. Like, I don't know, I can't explain. It's just a very nude shirt overall with really pretty patterns of flowers. I really like the crocheting in the middle. I think that's very flattering. And then at the bottom, it has this very... Uh, pretty cinch at the waist so it gives you that curve and also the sleeves are very pretty I think that is so cute okay and then the last piece of clothing that I found at DAV is this very pretty blouse long sleeve of course 
I really like the buttons down the middle and I love that the buttons are super small and they're like fabric if that makes sense and they're like actual buttons like you you can take them off it's not fake buttons overall I think the, the trip to these thrift stores were very successful I really enjoyed it got a lot more clothes that I need to find storage for and I actually need to go through my closet and I'm going to be doing that in another video you guys will be seeing me go through my closet and taking out clothes that I haven't worn in a long time that's just gonna be another video how are you guys with your clothes do you like do the same thing where you guys buy super simple pieces and just put all of them together to make this really pretty um, outfit how do you guys do like is it just me I don't know no of course it's not just me <laughs> that concludes this videos haul like I said very successful I feel like I got really lucky finding all of these clothes like I don't know I'm just very lucky I'm very I'm appreciative and thank you again to my mom how, when she bought me um, some of those clothes I really appreciate it if you guys like this video make sure to like and subscribe and push those notification bell button that way you're notified every time that I post because I am NOT in school and uh, work because of the virus I am free for the next two weeks so definitely be expecting more videos from me because I have two weeks to do this I'm definitely gonna like throw videos at you guys left and right I would also like to add because this virus is going on please take plenty of precautions on preventing the spread of this disease be safe and be responsible and be considerate of others around you okay thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video bye